What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Rodney, and today we're going to be talking about a crucial moment for Saitama coming up in about one week at the Crypto Dubai Expo. And the name of the game for me is to build relationships in order to get Saitama buzzing around the cryptocurrency sphere. Because right now, guys, it's not looking so hot for Saitama, to be honest. Now, yes, we've been con consolidating for a few days, that, and that's good. But overall, we've still been trying trending down since November. If you look at this chart, we've been trending down since November. Yes, we've had some pumps, but then they are always followed by a massive dump. You have to keep that in mind, guys, right? Yes, we've been consolidating in the 12 and 11 range and the 13 range for a few days now, but overall, we're still trending down. We need to build some relationships. And the name of the game is building relationships. You guys, the Cryptocurrency Dubai Expo, there's going to be hundreds of projects there. Understand that, hundreds of projects. Say Tama has to compete with with all of those other projects. Also, this is a pay to play ordeal. I had a AMA with the Shintama team last night, a smaller cap community token that just came into the space about a month ago. They had to pay 70K for their booth. And they're gonna be right across from Shinja, which is hilarious, right? But they had to pay 70K for a booth. This is a pay to play kind of thing. I think a lot of people think that this is a huge showcasing for Saitama. And although it is, right? They're there to showcase their product. It's not all about Saitama. Let's keep it a buck, right? Now, Saitama Guru uh, said last week in a Twitter post that he wants to have CZ of Binance come hang out at his booth, which is like, yeah, you want you want people at top tier exchanges to come hang out at your booth, right? And I think it's going to be good for Saitama to try to build those relationships. Guys, we got to get the word out about Saitama for this thing to start buzzing again, right? The fact is, a lot of people that are in this token are down bad, right? Are down bad. And I know a lot of people are really clinging to their investment because they want it to go to the moon and they want to squash the FUD any way they can, even if someone is, you know, just telling you the truth. A lot of people are down in this token. There are some people who got in way back here that are up, right? That's fine. But most people got in here because of all the hype. And so far, it's been disappointment after disappointment. Now, Saitama has been really scrambling to get Satamask 100% fully functional for the Dubai Expo. You guys have to keep one thing in mind. As of right now, Satamask is not special. And I know that hurts some of you guys. And I know that sucks for some of you guys. But just hear me out. Hear me out. You have to purchase Saitama on another platform to send it to, to Satamask, right? Whether that's um, another exchange, like a Bitmart, whether that's through Uniswap, but you have to send it to say to mask. Okay. Right now they only have a few tokens that you can swap, like maybe six, right? Is, is that an incentive for a lot of people to come running towards say to mask? You guys, gas fees are not cheaper. Yes, you can optimize gas fees in the Satamask app. I had an argument with some Saitama dweeb the other day. He was talking about how, oh, Satamask is cheaper. They can optimize gas fees. Yes, you can still optimize it, but you're still slave to the Ethereum blockchain. You're an ERC20 token. You have to deal with GUE. Your transaction fees can be cheaper. You can optimize, you can make the smart contract so it optimizes getting the best gas fees. You can, but at the end of the day, you're going to be paying close to the same amount same amount that you'd be paying on Uniswap. Guys, I did a $10,000 transaction yesterday on Uniswap for $30. That is dirt cheap. Gwe has been cheap and I think a lot of people, a lot of people have been posting their Satamask transactions being dirt cheap just because overall, using the Ethereum blockchain right now is pretty cheap for everyone. You guys, we need a reason for people to want to use Satamask. And right now, in its current form, there is no reason. People are not going to come. I'm telling you, people are not going to come flocking to this app. I'm just telling you guys, it's a basic app. It's not compelling anyone to go from anywhere to go to, 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 to go to say to mask guys. I was doing a tutorial on trust wallet last night. You can literally use your credit card to buy cryptocurrency from the wallet. You don't even have to get it from another exchange. You could buy it there. If you want a third party service for a small fee, you can't do that in Satamask. You have to send it from something else to Satamask. That defeats the purpose already. And the fact that you're only able to swap a few tokens, it's like, why do I want to swap for Impact XP or, uh, you know, uh, Shirio Inu? Like, maybe I like more things than that. Guys, the fact is a lot of people that come into this space are newbies. I get it. I was there too. I don't know the wonders of DeFi and I don't understand that there are apps just like Saitama, Satamask, excuse me, that are doing way better. And I hate to make this video shitting on Saitama. Actually, I don't. I kind of like doing that sometimes and it, just because it makes you guys mad but you have to understand where i'm coming from you guys look at i started 
covering Saitama with wide eyes, right? I didn't know the wonders of DeFi just yet. I've been a cryptocurrency for a while before that, but it was mostly on the Coinbase app, Robinhood, and Binance, right? I didn't really know much about the DeFi world. Um, and when I started seeing the the lack of professionalism, the missed targets, and those sorts of things coming from the Saitama team, I started to speak critically of Saitama in a nice way. And then I got attacked like crazy. The, they were coming after me. So I started making videos coming after them. And what's crazy is that all the while, the app still hasn't come out. We're still being lied to, and it's getting more vicious. So I became more vicious, right? So you have to understand that I'm just growing and, and, and developing with the times, and I'm just calling things how I see them. Now, I know I could have been like Classy Crypto and a few other people who just ignore that stuff and say, hey, you know what? Hey, I'm going to ride this thing to the wheels fall off. I want to be accepted by the Saitama Wolfpack. I could have been like that, guys. I could have been a zombie. But at the end of the day... When you sell your soul for something like this and you give up authenticity and you give up pretty much who you are to be fake and to be accepted, I think that's a slippery slope. And I think that if this project dies, people think my channel is going to go uh, kaput when Saitama, if they ever go out of business, right? You know, if they ever go, if, they, if Saitama's not relevant anymore, they think my channel is going to go out of business. You think so? You think that's the case? I have news for you. There's always going to be more tokens to talk about because a lot of people that watch my channel are not the biggest fanboys of Saitama. They like real critical uh, crypto cryptocurrency reporting. That's what they like. They like my, my live streams, things like that. They're not following me just to be a Saitama fanboy. But if Saitama ever becomes irrelevant, and it could at this point, a lot of you influencers who are dedicating your life around, around Saitama, boy, you're going to be in trouble. You know, I, I know a lot of people say your your videos that you do that are not based on Saitama, they don't get a lot of views. Uh, compared to Saitama videos, they don't get a lot of views. But compared to some other influencers in our space, when they talk about things that are not Saitama, they get a lot more views than those guys. Trust me, they, they actually do. And, you know, my Saitama videos get views because people like to hear my critical point of view. It's not just a coincidence, right? It's not Saitama nut huggers that keep watching my videos. So just saying. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments down below. What do you think of this entire situation? How do you feel about the cryptocurrency Dubai Expo? I'm interested to hear your opinion. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.